Hey there, welcome back to another video. My name is Nef Ahmedef and today I want to show you how to build a super modern form with Svalkid, Superforms and Zod. We are gonna start in our terminal and we're gonna type in bun create svelte at latest form tutorial. Gonna enter skeleton project, we use TypeScript, ESLint, Prettier and then we're gonna go code form tutorial which will open up this one. And then we can install, bun in install, make this a developer dependency, SvelteKit, Superforms, and Zod. Now we can go ahead and do bun install dash d tailwind css post css auto prefixer right now. And then and uh, bun x tailwind css init dash p. Like that one we go into our tailwind config file and do dot slash um, src slash um, everything slash everything dot um, js ts svelte html uh, let's go and do bun dev and see what it looks like uh, nothing styled yet because we also need to um, set up app.css um, at tailwind base components and utilities like that and then in our root we're gonna import import dot dot slash app.css now uh, class uh, text red 500 ASD doesn't work yet. What did I do wrong? So we now got our basic Tailwind setup done. Next thing we're gonna do is create a new file, call that plus page dot server dot ts and do kit load or export const load. This is a uh, type page page server load this is asynchronous and in here we're gonna go ahead and do const schema no actually let's just put this schema in here const schema z dot schema let's import zod import z from zod z dot schema and now in here we can go ahead and put some columns. For example, name z equals z dot string. Actually, there's something wrong. It's c dot object. And c dot string. We're gonna make this a minimum of of three characters. And the message is gonna be is this really your name? Um, and then we're gonna go with email is z dot uh, email no c dot string dot email and message is also c dot string um, with min uh, through with min of five um, put in a meaningful message so now what we're gonna do is const form is equals to await super validate uh, which we need to import super validate from svelte kit super forms and we also want to import zod zod from svelte kit super forms slash adapters because we want to pass in here our zod and then our schema schema oh there's a little typo <laughs> Um, yeah, so then we can return our form and in our page we can do export let data page data uh, no page data and import that one what is up with my imports import type page data from dot slash dollar sign types Oh, okay, yeah, we'll because I need to do lang ts. Now everything should work, right? Yes. 
So now uh, let's build our form. Yes, so we're going to do a form tag right here and do method is post and we're going to go with a few inputs. This one is of type email. Now let's see how this looks. We can obviously see nothing. Uh, class pg slate 800 uh, with full uh, h screen uh, screen. Let's see how that looks. Perfect. And now let's style all these inputs. Um, give them a padding of two and a what do we give them to? Uh, rounded LG. Let's see how this looks. Nice. And give this a class of flex. Flex call uh, gap2. And make this with min. Yep. So now let's do some divs. And yeah, basically, we're going to do label. No, we first need to name these. So name is equals to uh, name. A little bit stupid, but it's like that. And this name is email. And this name is message. And now we're going to go with label for name. Uh, we're going to go with name, copy this line, paste it in here, email, email, and uh, wait, text white, and make this text black, and this one is message. Yeah, cool. Uh, looks nice. Let's give this a bit of padding. Uh, padding 4. Uh, flex. Justify center. Just that uh, we have it in the center. Make it a bit bigger. Nice. So now we can actually go ahead and do const. Then we do form is equals to super form. Now it imports. Perfect. And we pass in data dot form. So now in our input, we can go if with bind value. And in here we go with dollar sign form dot name. And then dollar sign form dot email dollar sign form dot message. So we tracked all of these. Uh, one important thing that we missed is a button. Uh, submit, which will actually submit the form. Uh, let's give this some class as well. Uh, BG Sky 400, padding 2, rounded LG, and MX Auto, so that is a bit smaller, and MT of 4, so that we have some little more space to breathe. Yeah, now we can go and do enhance and for this form we're gonna do use enhance which progressively enhances the form which uh, gives it the functionalities of a modern form if I'm honest I don't know what that means but they say use it so I'm gonna use it now next thing we need a form action extra con actions is a type of action and it is also and it is an object with default uh, async or is it actions yeah it's actions not action whoops and we got this default and in here we're gonna destructure request and now if we go ahead and do const form 
is await super validate and then zod schema and in here we need to pass in the request so now if we console.log the form we should see hello let's submit the form the id of the form uh, if it is valid if it is posted the errors and the data so now if we would do that one do and that one we see valid is false because we got this error name is this really your name and this is the next thing we're going to implement the error catching this is very cool so we can do um is go ahead and do errors so we can do hashtag if errors dot uh, no errors because it is a how is it called a store dot email no dot name we're gonna just uh, render a span with dollar sign errors dot name now let's just copy that over here as well and now if we again no let's actually make them red class text red 500 now if we submit okay well now it doesn't work so yeah this is because we need to return the form before so uh, if something goes wrong so if and then form dot valid which is a boolean as you can see here um we return a fail uh, of 400 and we're gonna return the form and we need to import that from spellkit and now if we again do that one is this really your name is this really your name is this really your name oh yeah because it's email email and here it is message and message now if we again do this yeah is this really your name invalid email put in a meaningful message this is correct so now one thing we can do is message and then yeah else we can do return message from svelkit superforms form and then form submitted submitted like that and now of course there is no such thing so we need to put in neville contact at neville brem com and then message is hello world now if we submit okay well there is no uh, message because we need to render that of course so we already destructured that from here so the only thing holding us back really is putting that in here hashtag if dollar sign message we do a little span and put in the message Neville contact at nevillebrem.com. Put in a uniform. Oh, yeah, it needs to be longer. Hello, world. Form submitted. Perfect. And yeah, that's basically how everything works. It is a very simple process and a very easy process. You can easily like make db.query or like db.insert, something like that, and then destructure that because form.data. We can do form the data dot email const email is form the data dot email and then we can console log the email for example and then it will just show the email and we can do all kinds of stuff with that like insert it into the database and stuff yeah really cool i love svelkit superforms it like helped me a lot with dealing with forms and yeah i hope you liked today's video if so leave a like and subscribe to this channel and we will we'll see us on sunday bye